Hey guys, this is me, and I'm back again, and today I just wanted to go ahead and um, go over Amazon Native Apps. Somebody was asking how they could use them and how they could insert them in their content as opposed to using other ads or just injecting other content, and so I figured it would be an easy, quick video to kind of show how I've done it in testing. Um, I haven't seen any income from the site that I put it on because it's brand new. It's only a month old, so I'm still waiting to see whether or not it gives a good return. But I figured I'd put some in place on this site just because it's a good way to show everybody how they can do it. So we'll move over to the Footbagger website. And what you want to do is go to the plugins and add new. And then I did advanced ads. This is this is from Thomas. I know that this is updated nonstop, so I know it's always as secure as I can possibly get it to be. Go ahead and activate that. And then we're going to go ahead and get a cache, that's fine. And go over to create your first ad. And then what we're over here is we just want to do this plain text encode. And next. And then this is where you're going to insert the code. So what we need to do is get the code. So one second, I'll jump over to there. So what you do is you go into your Amazon Associates account. And then you're going to, want to go to product linking and then native shopping ads. And then down here is the overview. This will be what comes up by default. And then what you're going to want is recommendations. So you're just going to give related products to what the person's been looking for. And um, not necessarily that you want them to search for something or custom where you're going to choose specifically what they're going to see. Recommendations means they might get something totally unrelated to your site, but it might get them to click and get you the income. So you're going to create recommendation recommendation ads, and it's going to bring you to this page. Now inside here, I'm going to name your ad. So Go ahead and name this one Footbagger. And we'll just make the tracking ID. You're going to select it. It's going to default to your store, main store one. You're going to have to choose your actual tracking ID, or you can create a brand new one. Um, and then you can choose which one you want. So if you do strip, you'll see it over here a list or a grid. And um, I've been trialing the grid. Strip is what I'm going to run here, just so that you can get a chance to see. They're really just wider and bigger here, whereas this is, you know, the product and the name to the side. And then we're going to emphasize categories. You can go through here and choose one. I'm going to leave it open because I just wanted to choose what is more related to their interests because personally, I don't need, I don't want to force it to be any one of these because I don't know who's going to end up on this site. And what you can do is choose those. So if you do clothing and accessories, it's going to emphasize those. So if they had clothing, accessories, and major appliances they've been looking at, but you check mark this, then clothing would be there instead of the major appliance by how they explain it. And then this is where they'll be selected. And then down here, you can do a fallback. So if they don't have anything in their um, recommended products, you can use these keywords. So if there isn't anything, then you do like a uh, footbagger, right? That way you've got a chance to say exactly what you need it to say. What you're going to do then is you're going to need to say save and view ad code. And once you've got that part, 
you know, an asynchronous preferably. So this loads with page, con page content. This will speed up your page load because it'll do it when it can do it as opposed to. So I highlight that and then you want to copy it. And then you'll go back over to your website. You're going to want to insert that code. And then you can go ahead and click next. And if you know site, so this is part of that losing um, the layout shift, the CLS that they talk about. So if you know the size and width this is going to be, you could put this in here and specifically say this is going to be, you know, 768 by 200 and to reserve that space. That way it's going to take that whole box of space and it's going to make it be that size and height regardless before the code loads so that way your sh your content doesn't shift it's just going to be a white space then it's going to be an ad and nothing's going to shift around sorry about that so uh we'll just reserve space for now just because it's interesting and it'll give us a chance to see. So we'll do next. And we're not going to hide the page and not going to hide it from users. So this is a, a chance where you can decide to hide your ad from specific pages. So if you have recommendations pages or someplace you don't want it to show up, you can actually set up some display conditions to hide it. And for visitors, you can go ahead and hide it. So if the, you didn't want to show it to logged in users, then you could set it to you know not work for logged in users. That way you can make ads as an income, whether people are signed up for an account and as part of the benefit of being signed up for the account, they don't have to see ads anymore. And some people will pay for that. No problem. And then next. And then this is just going to tell you where do you want to put it? So you can do before the content in the content, after the content, and then you can do a lot between sidebars and, and a bunch of other stuff with the free version. So this will just do as in content. And we'll do after uh, five paragraphs in. Now it'll be six. So after six paragraphs in, I want to go ahead and show this. And then you can create your name. So I'm just going to say native ad in content P6. This way I know it's my native ad in content after paragraph six. This just helps me understand what it is. And then you're going to want to go ahead and update. And then once that's updated, we can go ahead and clear the cache. And what we'll do is go open a post. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Three. Oh, yeah. Four, five, six. So now six paragraphs in. Now we've got ads for me. So you can replicate this over and over again and build out a whole line of different ads inside your content or products on Amazon and it's fairly pain free and it they load really snappy so we can go over to the yeah. HP insights take a look i haven't ran it against my site since i did wp rocket in there so let's see what it has this one was really just a stream to help oh, i'm timed out and error all right we won't worry about it for now so really what you can do is take this and go build out some specific ad ads with Amazon to fill in and give you some contextual ads inside, even if you're not going to run AdSense um, from forums. I had people reporting that they were getting up to a 23% click rate on them in their content. And obviously every niche, niche is going to be a little bit different. So I can't say that's going to be the same for everybody. But I figured it, it was worthy of giving it a try and seeing how it would work. So hopefully this helps everybody to understand. It's really easy with the tools as long as you 
get an add inserter. The benefits to that is that you can always just uninstall the add inserter when you're done, or you can go into the add inserter and delete them. So if you wanted to after the fact, you can come into ads and you can actually just delete them. So if you want to, you just trash it and you're done. Code's gone. You flush your cache again and you won't have any more ads. Or if you don't like this ad and later you decide you want to put something else inside there, you can just edit it and go change out the code with the ad from Azoic or from AdSense and put it in place in there in the same one and you'll be up and running. So hopefully this video helped everybody. I just want to do a short and sweet one and help anybody who is trying to get these ads in place on their website and to get it done painlessly. Have a good night guys and hopefully I'll try and do f at least a video every other day this next month cover more topics please leave anything in the comments as I like having ideas for things people are actually having issues with because it'll help me grow and it'll help you guys at the same time and those are the most fun videos to do